about what information you're getting right now about the transition we're about to go through or we're going through and, uh, and, and, and where you're getting the information, you know, when it comes through and when they tell you something, who tells you what and whether or not you're getting conflicting information about the future. Okay. Um, basically, I'm trying to put this into a perspective because when I'm channeling with Joe, it's one thing, but they also um, communicate with me uh, mainly, which is really strange sometimes, is that they communicate with me like when I'm walking. <laughs> And everything is quiet and I'm focused within. Or they'll communicate with me when, like when I first wake up in the morning. Or, um, or, or when I'm, I'm dreaming and then they'll wake me up in the middle of the night and I'll say, well, what was that all about? And then all of a sudden this whole scenario will come up. Um, so that's how they communicate with me. Um, other than what they say to Joe and then Joe communicates back. And sometimes I remember them, sometimes I don't. And it's usually the Syrians or, um, or it's, um, those are the ones that take me on trips to show me things. The Andromedans show me things through, through the telepathic route. Like I can, I can feel what they're doing. They actually let me come into their bodies to, um, to, um, to experience or to know what they know. Then okay, there is, but, um, but aside from how it's happening, tell me what you are getting. Literally. Okay. All right. What I'm getting is um, one time um, they were showing me the future. And I felt like that it was a future life. And what it was is that I was on, there was this little girl and um, I telepathically spoke to the little girl and said, because her family got killed, and there was like a lot of chaos around, almost holocaustic is what it felt like, and um, and what it looked like, and what I was, um, I got some type of, uh, what is, what are those things called, um, the lizard type, um, uh, and I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> um, uh, well, reptilian or Draco. That's it, it, that's it, reptilians. Um it was almost like I felt that kind of feeling. And what happened was I was standing on a hill and I said to this little girl, stay with me telepathically, stay with me. I will, I will keep you alive. And I remember I married someone and this was, um, this was like all in a trance state. I know the difference between a dream and a trance. And, um, and I married uh, like a soldier of some type. Um, who that was the only way that I knew that I would be able to eat. And so I brought the little girl in as my child. And then me and the little girl were standing on top of the hill, up this hill, and far away we could see tele, uh, telecommunication, like, you know, the, like the wires and the, and the, um, things for TVs and stuff like that, those antennas. We saw like them being torn down from far away as we were standing on the, on the hill. So when I asked what this was all about, they were talking about how communication was going to be shut down and that man will not be able to communicate um, the way that they are used to. And that was one of the, um, the, the communications that I received. And I can't really put a time date to it. You know, it's very difficult to discern time um, because I, I understand that time doesn't register the same. And because I know a lot of times Joe's always asking me, what time do you think this is going to happen? <laughs> and I'm sitting there like, I don't know, maybe, maybe a yeah. hundred years. <laughs> well, that's time, time. You know, I mean, anything with precog is, is very hard to pin down time wise. Even the remote viewers talk about that. Uh, because time in this dimension is not the same elsewhere as well. So once you leave this dimension, you're not even operating the same way. You don't view time. It's not a straight I, line. I feel that too. And then, and then what happened? Uh, keep in mind, Carrie. I I want to be like I 
I want to be real in what I do. So I deliberately don't watch TV. I deliberately don't watch YouTubes unless Joe says you have to watch this because it, he knows it'll apply to something for me. Um, so I'm not really, I don't read the newspaper. And every once in a while, you know, if I'm at somebody's house and I hear the, the, um, the news on TV, like that swine flu thing, that was ridiculous. I, it was in January or no, in July that I was doing dishes at my mom's house and I'm listening to her TV going off and I hear them talking about how many students are going to end up dying in the colleges in September because of the swine flu. And it was like all of a sudden an epiphany came in my head and I said, Oh my God, they are pre-programming these kids to, to die, you know? And then all of a sudden that's what's happening in the news <laughs> because they were told that this was going to happen. They're being yeah, told. Uh, I have to say that's very accurate. Um, you know, my, myself, I, I turn down commercials for that reason. I don't listen yeah. to commercials because a lot of times they're selling disease. And so what yeah, they're doing so is they describe the disease and then people listen. They internalize what it is they were told and then they get the disease and then they need the drug to cure it supposedly or to help mitigate it, uh, which mm-hmm. of course it's very, uh, gives them another disease. But at any rate, so this is, uh, this is absolutely true and you have to be really careful in that regard. So it's good that you're aware of that. But given that you're aware of that and given, given that you're doing this for several years, can you, um, and you've given us a very specific case where you, you know, you, you actually saw an incident and had right. an interaction. But can you give us a little more general in the sense that could you package the general look at the future that you have been given from the various contacts you've had? Okay. And also, also, if they are, there are conflicting, you know, information out there from okay. what you're getting. All right. I'm only going to tell you what I'm given because I don't um, because I'm, I don't like to play into anything that is doom and gloom. And so, but I do get a lot of information that sometimes I'll, I'll text Joe in the middle of the night and, or I'll, so I don't forget it and, uh, things like that. But what I'm seeing, and I remember, I'm not putting doom and gloom out there. Um, is, is that like, say when I went out to Arizona, okay, Arizona has a very high energy. My, my, uh, if you want to call it psychic abilities go sky high out there. Maybe that's why I'm being called out there. And um, and so compared to out here. And so what happens is that, uh, are you familiar with the Superstition Mountain? Yes. Okay. Well, I was hiking um, up towards Superstition Mountain. And first I went into, like, it seems like I go into past, present, and, and future type um, st- states of mind. And what happened was, all of a sudden, I saw the mountain shaking. Well, first it went into the past where I, I saw the Apache Indians on top and all the, the river of blood from whatever history they had over there. And then what happened was these green orbs came right into my body and smacked into my body. And I took that almost extraterrestrial, definitely extraterrestrial. And then, um, and then, um, I, went into this scenario where I saw the mountain shaking and, and these, and I'm sitting here thinking, wow, you know, why am I seeing this mountain shake like this? And, (laughs) and, um, and so I always ask those questions so I can get the answers. And basically I thought at first they were telling me that telling me that there was actually a ship underground in that mountain. And then I started seeing all the ground cracking up in, uh, and you wonder why I'm moving to Arizona. (laughs) And, uh, and, um, and then um, the ground was cracking up and this sounds, this seems like soon, like, you know, when I say there's no concept this time, I get that concept, whether it's soon or, or something like that. And, um, so that is one thing that I feel is that soon something there's like, we've already had what we've had a lot of earthquakes in the last, um, uh, what since January, I think. And, and so I see one in Arizona. I also see 
Um, I was just going to tell you what I see. I, I just get nervous about this. Um, then I see uh, 